here's another example, and this is kind of a classic example for these types of problems. So I'm one mile off the coast, and I wish to get to town that's three miles uh, along that same coast. So we're gonna swim to shore and then walk to shore. And the question is where, at what point X, like this distance from straight from where you are from the shore, where should that be to minimize the time it takes to get to town? So we wanna minimize time. And notice that we're questioning we're question like how far. So we want to um, think about how time is changing relative to uh, distance. And we know a couple things. You can swim two miles per hour, so we have a speed, we have a rate for swimming. We have a rate for walking. I threw the W, uh, the L in there. Uh, for walking. And so we're gonna need some pieces here. One thing that we know is distance equals rate times time, which also means that time equals distance divided by rate. And what we wanna do is minimize the time. So we're gonna need to have an equation for time, how much time it takes to swim this far and then to walk that far. So um, we know rates, so we're gonna need distances for both of those. So if this whole thing is x, uh, if this whole thing is 3, and this is x, this distance is 3 minus x. And if I notice here, I have Pythagorean theorem, x and 1, so this distance is square root of x squared plus 1. So the time it takes me to swim will be its distance divided by its rate. Its distance is uh, square root of x squared plus 1 over its rate, which is 2. So there's the time it takes to swim this distance, wherever x is. And the time it takes to walk is going to be the same idea. It's distance divided by its time. So distance is 3 minus x for that. And time, uh, I'm sorry, distance divided by rate. Its rate is 4. So our total time should be the time it takes to swim plus the time it takes to walk. So there's an equation that shows the amount of time it would take to go from here to wherever we put x and then to walk from there, those two different rates. So now let's take this, uh, I said distance, uh, change related to distance, but x stands for a distance. So we'll take this derivative, so dt over dx, so distance change in time related to x. And fortunately, these are all in terms of x. So before I do this, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to think of this as 1 half times uh, x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. That'll be easy to take that derivative. Plus, and then notice these are both divided by 4, so 3 fourths minus 1 fourth x. All right, so let's do these derivatives. Uh, derivative of this, I'm going to have to power rule this x squared plus 1 out of here. So the 1 half comes down to give me a 1 fourth. Um, and then I have whatever this is, um, the, the power reduces by one, so negative one half. And then I've got to power rule that out of there. I'm sorry, um, chain rule that out of there. So derivative of x squared plus one is two x, plus derivative of three halves relative to x is zero, uh, minus derivative of one fourth x is one fourth. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, two uh, x, over four, and since that's a negative exponent, this is gonna be x squared plus one. So there's my derivative. And this, this two over four, I could reduce that to one half. So there's my derivative. That's how the time is changing relative to how x changes. And since I'm minimizing, maximizing, I wanna find extreme, I'm gonna set that equal to zero. So as I go to solve that, um, I'll add a fourth to both sides. And then now uh, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4, which cancels this out. So notice that gives me 4x over 2 times square root of x squared plus 1 plus 1. 
How about I multiply both sides by this denominator as well? And how about I just reduce that first? Now I'll just multiply both sides by that. So here it divides out. So I've got 2x equals 1 times anything is that anything. That. Keep going to solve x. I want to get rid of the square root. So I'm going to square both sides. So I've got that whole 2x is squared. And I square the square root, it's gone. Notice that the 2 is squared and the x is squared. So this is 4x squared equals x squared plus 1. Uh, subtract x squared from both sides. Whoops, come back over here. Divide by 3. Square root it. And that's my distance, 1 over square root of 3. I could, you know, say what it is about as a decimal, but that's my x value. So that is where this should go to optimize uh, that trip, right, to minimize the time.